Missed opportunity for Celtic. I talk about the three main talking points on a night of promise for Celtic in the Polish capital. And Chris Sutton singles out Celtic captain. Celtic were left to rue a host of missed chances, as Angie Postekoglu's side drew 1-1 with Shakhtar Donetsk in the Champions League group stage in Warsaw. Look this was never an own goal, but Artem Bondarenko's own goal gave Celtic an early lead in Shakhtar's temporary home. In the Polish capital, but Mikhaila Mudrik equalised with a thumping finish after running in behind the visitors' defence. This was against the run of play. The Scottish champions forced Shakhtar goalkeeper Onatola Trubin into a series of saves and spurned late chances. As they had to settle for a point, their first in the competition since their last appearance in 2017-18. Obviously, we need that second goal. And we had good chances to get it, but from my perspective, I can't ask any more of them, said Postacoglu. We'll get our rewards if we keep playing that kind of football and showing that kind of commitment. More significant than the point was the performance, he added. After paying the price for not capitalising on a strong start in last week's 3-0 loss to Real Madrid, Celtic threatened with just a minute gone in Warsaw, where Shakhtar are playing their European home games, due to Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Kyogo Furuhasha found his route to goal blocked by Trubin, but Celtic soon made the breakthrough as Saad Haksabanovic slid the ball through for Rio Hat 8, whose attempt deflected off Bondarenko and trickled into the net. Celtic nearly made it 2-0 when Moritz Jens' shot was kept out by Trubin's leg. It proved a key stop as Shakhtar quickly levelled. Georgi Sudakov threaded a pass through the Celtic backline, with Mudrik racing onto it before lashing an unerring finish past Joe Hart. Hart denied Shakhtar a second by turning behind a curling strike from former Celtic forward Marian Schwed while Trubin shoveled away a dipping shot by Portuguese winger Jota to start the second half. Matt O'Reilly's effort from range was tipped to safety as Celtic continued to create opportunities, with substitutes Jorgos Jakumakis and Dizen Maeda both going agonisingly close late on. At the end of the game, Angie Postacoglu was full of praise for his Celtic players, as Shakhtar boss hails incredible visitors. Postacoglu told his Celtic players they would eventually get their rewards if they repeat that excellent performance against Shakhtar Donetsk that gained them a first point in the Champions League. Celtic dominated for the vast majority of the game in the Legia Warsaw Municipal Stadium, but had to settle for a 1-1 draw. Postacoglu will stress the importance of becoming more clinical in the Champions League if they are to retain hopes of advancing to the last 16 phase but his side was creative throughout and looked difficult to break down. The three main points I took from the game last night are Celtic need to turn dominance into goals. Just one point from their opening two games in Group F doesn't make for great reading, but there has been plenty for Angie Postacoglu and his players to be pleased about. Second, the Celtics' plan was clear from the outset. Dictate the tempo from kickoff and chances will fall your way just like they have been doing in large spells domestically. They succeeded with Hay Tate's 10th minute opener. Postecoglou's favoured midfield trio of Callum McGregor, Rio Hat 8, and Matt O'Reilly has formed a brilliant partnership between them, and they were effective once more against Shakhtar. The Ukrainians began to look incredibly leg weary in the second half, with McGregor, and had eight offering great tenacity and balance in the middle of the park. The Japanese star's range of passing alongside the skipper's composure and the ball and organisational skills have given Celtic an excellent base to build on. Matt O'Reilly adds flair and fantastic dribbling ability in a more advanced role to ensure the hoops have all areas of the midfield covered. David Turnbull's exquisite ball retention under pressure and Aaron Moy's roaming approach will continue to tire out opposition teams. Now big Chris Sutton has labelled Callum McGregor's decision-making in the build-up to Shakhtar Donetsk's equaliser as terrible, with that first-half goal costing Celtic the three points. It was a frustrating goal to lose, with the opposition catching Celtic on the break and scoring a goal that the visitors could have easily avoided. Apart from their goal, Shakhtar Donetsk didn't really trouble Joe Hart in the Celtic goals, 
with the keeper barely called into action. It just shows that Celtic was the more dominant of the two sides, squandering many chances. Look, it's a brilliant finish. The big error there is from Callum McGregor. It's a terrible, terrible decision to try and anticipate where the ball is going. If he actually just stays and lets the ball go to Sudakov, he could play back the way. As soon as Sudakov goes on the half turn, you see Mudrik's pace because Juranovic is no slouch. There weren't many starring performances in Poland tonight. It was disappointing to see, but nonetheless, it's a point on the board. It should have been three, but the result isn't the worst. Celtic need to go and win in Germany to keep pressure on for second place, with Real Madrid likely to beat Shakhtar. Look shipping goals aren't for everyone, conceding 11 goals in a row is not for everyone either, and where is Chris Boyd? And on that note have a great day Celtic fans all around the world. Let roll up to the party, roll up, roll up to the party, roll up to the party, roll up.